Good morning, I'm Craig Summerall. Thanks for joining me as we continue reading through the book, Monday Morning Choices. Today we continue with the do something choice. Do something to clearly communicate. Regardless of the career you choose, to be successful, you have to be able to get your point across. Fair or not, people tend to judge you by how well you speak, write, and listen. Every word spoken, every sentence written, and every instance of how well you listen, send a message. The message you want to send is this, I'm committed to succeed. It's a proven fact your chances for success will increase in proportion to the strength of your vocabulary and your ability to communicate. More than any other single attribute, the use of a well-rounded vocabulary is an, an immediate indication of your intelligence. Ironically, most people's vocabularies stagnate before the age 30. Being able to speak to groups of two or three or even to a room fill is required for advancement in almost any industry. Opinions are always formed on the basis of how well you deliver a message. The message may be as simple as, say a few words about yourself, or as important as, tell us why your team needs a budget increase. Successful people spend time and energy to focus on improving their verbal communication skills. A second communication skill required for success is the ability to write clearly and concisely. What and how you write represents you. Those who receive your memos, emails, reports, and other documents automatically form an impression of you. The ability to listen effectively is the third communication skill required for success that is often overlooked. Studies have shown that miscommunication occurs largely because people do not take the time to listen. What can you do to improve your communication skills? Doing something takes courage. The difference between those who succeed and those who allow fear to immobilize them is the choice to courageously keep moving forward when things get tough. Throughout literature, the theme of courage is second only to the theme of love. Most of us would readily admit that courage is the one virtue we want for ourselves. If I had one wish, wrote a Harvard scholar, it would be to never be scared and to never feel the shame of being scared. Sure, everybody has fears, from the part-time employee at the local car wash to the moguls who shape and guide corporations. We all fear the unknown, and we all feel fear failure. When you make the choice to do something, your fear will diminish. Your confidence will increase. And in the process, you will remove the unknown. Attack what you fear, and the fear will eventually disappear. One of the greatest mistakes you can make is to be paralyzed by the fear of making a mistake. The key to overcoming fear is to continue moving forward despite your fears. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.